Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be downloading and installing Crunker.io onto our computer. Now as you can see, I'm on Crunker.io, the actual site, and I'm playing the game through the browser as the majority of people are playing the game right now. Now this is absolutely fine, however, what about if you could go and install the game onto your computer so you could go and just double click an icon on your, you know, your desktop and you could go and instantly launch into the game, get better performance and go and get more options. Well, that's what we're going to be showing off today. As you can see on the main Crunker.io site, there is no link to download the game as of yet. However, in the next update, it will be implemented. So you just click that and you will go and get the setup file. With that said, if you want to go and get it early, go to Sydney Devereux's Twitter. Twitter. He's the main developer for Crunker and he's put out a tweet. For those waiting for the update, here's the official Crunker client download link. And as you can see, the link right here, client.crunker.io slash setup.exe. So we're gonna go and click that and then we're gonna go and install it. As you can see, setup.exe for Crunker is 59.4 megabytes. So a very, very small file indeed. Crunker, you know, it's a very easy to run game. So honestly, I wouldn't have expect anything different. So the game has finally been downloaded. All you have to do is double click the setup.exe and something may pop up. So it says Windows protected your PC. So this is Windows saying, hey, this XE seems a little bit weird. What you have to go and do is click more info and then click run anyway. The reason why Windows is saying this is because it's got unknown publisher. All the devs have to do is put a publisher name and then it will be A-OK. -okay. So for now, we're going to go and run anyway because that is an official download link from the main developer. It's not going to harm your computer. And this is right now, it's just installing into your computer. It will just install onto your C drive. And after a few seconds, the game will go and pop up. So it's a very, very simple process. As you can see over the left-hand side, we finally have a link right here, Crunker Client, double click that, and we'll go and boot it up. So here we go. The Crunker Client is all ready to go, but I'm gonna show you a few features. I have already gone and logged into my account. As you can see, UCD, you can just log in as you normally would with Crunker. But what you can also go and do, the first thing I want to talk about is get the full screen. So normally it's in this windowed mode. What you have to go and do is press F11 and then it will go and bring it up the full screen. So you can go and play, you know, as an actual first person shooter without a window. So if we go into the settings right here, as you can see, it's exactly the same as the normal website version, resolution, field of view, sensitivity, etc., etc. However, the differences come in the utilities option. This is where it gets a little bit crazy. So in the rendering option, you've got an unlimited FPS option. So if you want to go and get 250, 300 FPS, go and click that. You can go and get it way past your actual refresh rate of your monitor. There's also a show FPS button. So as you can see here, I've got enabled and I've got the FPS font size to giant. So in the top left hand corner, my face is very much blocking the view, but I'll go and disable it. There is an FPS button. Disabling that real quickly, as you can see, top left hand corner, I'm running 60 frames per second. The reason why is because I've got my OBS open. I put that and boom, 144 frames per second. Nice and smooth boys. And it will go and cap out at your refresh rate. So going back to utilities, there's a few more things I want to go and show you, and that's in the features option. So as you can go and see, death counter, that will go on the right hand side of the screen, show how many times you've died. And match end message, so I've got it set as GG, but you can go and type absolutely anything that you want, and I'll post it in the chat when the game is finished, when the match is finished. But one thing I really recommend they go and enable is hide full matches. So as you can see, I've got it enabled, I go to server browser and in the Sydney server, I've got all these matches that are not full. But if I go to utilities and I scroll down and I turn off hide full matches like you would have in the normal browser, have a look here. You've got all these eight out of eight and I've got to scroll all the way down to find matches that aren't full. So make sure to go and have that enabled. Another thing that people are really excited about is the crosshair changes. So as you can see, you can go from original to custom and then on custom, you can do as a cross or a hollowed circle and show. You can turn off your crosshair if you want. You can change the color as well. So you can make it like red or pink or whatever. Length, Thickness, outline, outline color. This is gonna look pretty disgusting, but you guys can see what I mean. You can put a lot of customization into your crosshair. That, that's pretty sweet. 
Now the last part of the utilities menu is right here, the customization. So you can go and customize the main logo, the ABS dot, scope image, all of this type of stuff. If you go and put links to images in this little box right here. I haven't gone and messed around with it. I don't really know how it goes and works, but people will definitely put in, be putting tutorials out for that in the very near future. But with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this Cronkadio downloading and installing to true. If you did, make sure to go and hit the like button and watch more Cronkadio videos on the annotations on your screen. Bye, Brunettes. Undercover dudes, all the way from down under. Out.